Well, one curator from the Museum of Natural History and Science just recently won an award for the 2014 New Mexico Arizona Book Award, winning the best book in the nature and environment category. It's a big win for our museum. Here with more on the book and the award is Spencer Lucas, chief curator over at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. Spencer, good to see you. First of all, congratulations. Thank this you. is a pretty cool honor. Thanks. So uh, we'll, we'll get into what the award means, but first let's talk about Dinosaur Century. Now you said that this was partly based on an exhibit that the museum had for a while, right. but, we, we but it was a, also a celebration, the centennial of New Mexico, right? Right, the centennial of statehood was in 2012. Mm -hmm. We did an exhibit called Dinosaur Century to commemorate 100 years of dinosaur collecting in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. All right, so let's talk about what this award first means. What, what is the award all about? Well, the award, there's, there's an award given in many, many categories to different books by the New Mexico Arizona Book Association. So mm -hmm. this book was chosen as the best book in the category nature and environment. So it was evaluated. I think what won the book, the award, was really its content and mm -hmm. its educational value. Okay, so let's talk about some of the content. First of all, I want to mention a pretty cool fact, if you, as you could see there on the cover, a uh, beautiful illustration of, is this a, a pentaceratops? A pentaceratops. Pentaceratops, see? There you I, are. I pay attention, guys. I go to the museum. Uh, this was illustrated by a 16-year-old Albuquerquean? Right, it was drawn by one of our junior docents, Elena Wiwi, who did a lot of the artwork that's uh -huh. in the book. She did artwork for the exhibit, uh -huh. and w she did the cover, which you are she correct, is a Pentaceratops. Shows some of the uh, some of the other illustrations that this young lady did. Really incredible stuff. So one of the cool things about this book, you said it was all done in-house. Right. This the, was all your folks that made this happen. We did it. I wrote the words. Elena mm -hmm. did the artwork. Some of the other artwork was done by other members of mm -hmm. our staff. All the photographs are ours. This is totally produced by the Natural History Museum. Mm -hmm. And it really kind of takes us through uh, a history of fossil discovery uh, paleontology here in New Mexico. Absolutely. Is that right? it's, okay. a, it's a, you could say it's a history of science book. It's a history a of history paleontology. Of science book. Yeah, it's a history of paleontology in New Mexico. And it really uh, was connected to the exhibit of the same title. Okay, so uh, winning this award, obviously, it's it's really great for the folks that worked on it, but on the, for the museum as a whole, what does winning this award do for the museum? Well, I think it's greater recognition for what we do to fulfill our mission, and mm -hmm. our mission is to educate New Mexicans and everybody about the natural history and science mm -hmm. of the state, and books like this do just that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, another thing that I want to mention as well that I think is really great, because uh, I like bragging on you guys, USA Today mentioned, uh, they put you in the ranks of the Smithsonian, uh, some of the other museums, world-class museums, is the best place to view dinosaurs. Right, they listed us as one of the top 10, one of the top di 10. dinosaur museums in the country, which yeah. did put us on a list with the American Museum of Natural History, the Smithsonian, mm -hmm. the uh, Field Museum in Chicago, mm -hmm. and we were actually the only museum in the Southwest that was chosen really? to be on that list. Wow, that's pretty incredible. I mean, there's some great museums out there, so that that is a, a huge thing, a huge thing to say about it. Uh, so what are some of the exhibits going on right now at the museum? We want to get out, I, you know, like I said, we get out there a lot. Annalise, my little girl and I, we get out there almost every other weekend mm -hmm. and check it out. But for folks that have not been to the museum in a while, what can they expect when they come out and check it out? Well, one thing you might not have seen was the Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton, which mm -hmm. we had loaned to the Farmington Museum through the summer. It's back. Okay. Okay, and of course we have all our normal dinosaur exhibits, all our age of dinosaur exhibits that are related to this book, mm -hmm. but we also have our movies. We're now a partner with National Geographic. And wow. so we show okay. their films, and one of the films we're showing right now is on pandas which is really a great film about okay. pandas if you haven't had a chance to okay, see it. Okay, and that's in the Dynamax Theater? That's is in that the theater, right? yes. Okay, that's fantastic. All right, uh, so of course, big question here. Uh, people want to get a copy of this book. Obviously, we come down to the gift shop, we can pick up a copy. Are there other ways that we can get it, or is that pretty much the exclusive way to, right to get a copy Right now, that's pretty much it. It's sold okay. at the Nature Works store, which is the gift shop of the Natural History Museum, and okay. that's where the books are available. That's where the books are available. Mm -hmm. All right, makes a great Christmas gift, like I said, Annalise. She's getting this. Fortunately, she doesn't. She's not up this early, so right. she doesn't know Daddy's getting this for. Her. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, things on the horizon, Spencer, at the museum. What uh, What do you have planned for 2015? Anything you could share with us? Well, we're working to build a large exhibit hall on what's called the Paleozoic, which mm -hmm. is the time period really before dinosaurs, and this would fill in a big gap in our time 
line representing the history of New Mexico. So mm -hmm. this Paleozoic exhibit, hopefully we're raising money, we're planning it, and hopefully we'll get it opened in another couple of years. A couple of years, okay, mm -hmm. fantastic. Well, Spencer, again, Thank congratulations, you. my Thanks friend. So Big award for our New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. For more information on the museum, how to pick up a copy of this for stocking stuffers this year, head over to krqb.com. We'll be right back.